Okay, so what we're going to look at today is how to actually create a 3D model, apply a texture, and upload it into a computer game. I'm going to use the computer game City Skylines just purely because I'm actually familiar with that one and understand how to do it, and it's really, really simple. Now, I'm going to give a bit of credit here to Temple of Doom because I followed a lot of his videos on modeling and importing into City Skylines in order to get this right. Um, but no disrespect to him, uh, he was doing an awful lot. And for someone who just wanted to know how to make something in 3D, apply a texture and upload it, uh, there was more than I needed to know as a beginner. So this is really, if you absolutely know nothing uh, about Blender or how to make 3D models or textures, then this really video is for you. And you know what, I'll leave um, Temple of Doom's link in actually out of fairness so that once you're done here, you can actually see how much more complex it can become. So, when you actually create a new general, you basically get this. You get a cube, you get a light source, and you get a camera. In what we're going to do, you have to delete the camera and the light source. You have to just get rid of them completely. And over here in the scene collection panel, you just move the cube up. And delete that collection there. It's really good. So, uh, computer games like Skylines, you just need one object to actually focus on. Uh, they provide all of the actual light and everything like that for the actual scenes later on. And now we just have this cube all on its own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit A just to select it, and then I'm going to go into edit mode. And here we go. Here's our cube, and every single face is selected. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually go up and I'm going to select the face select tool. I'm going to select this one face and I'm going to go down to uh, bevel. And then I'm just going to change it to give it a pitch. So there we go. We've got a pitch on the roof now. Next thing I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to actually now move very quickly onto texturing. That's a house. There we go. I'm saying that's a house. I'm not going to put any more details into it because, quite frankly, that's not the point. It's not about building a great house. It's about how to get this thing into a game. So next thing we do is we need to head over to this UV editing. And you'll see this grid here. Uh, click back onto your 3D model area and click A to select it. And you'll see that the UV editing area all kind of puts down a map, a flat packed version of your 3D model. From there, what we do is we go into UV, export UV layout. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to actually put this in the cities skylines um, local file, basically where you can put all of your, your modifications and your changes. So it's in users, it's under you. So whatever your login is, app data, local, Colossal order, city skylines, add-ons, import. So you get there in the end, it takes a while. Now, naming this folder is important. Uh, go for non-lower cases. If you need to put a space in, um, don't. Just put an underscore. And for the actual uh, image texture, for the wraparound, basically, of the actual uh, model that you're building, call it something like house D. So always remember it's the underscore D that's required. And then just export it. And what we're going to do is we're now going to head over into a painting application. Now, what you'll find of us, I've actually headed into Paint 3D here. Now, before you start screaming about why am I using Paint 3D, uh, it's because actually I prefer to use Photoshop when I'm doing stuff like this. And I know a lot of people, A, don't have access to it. B, even when you do, it's not easy to use if you've never used Adobe Suite before. And I didn't want to download one of the free for use ones like Jim from online. So again, pick whichever editor you feel comfortable with. This is just to actually be really, really simple right now because I don't need to do anything special with this. I just need to color it in. So I'm not going to do anything amazing. I'm not going to wow you all with my graphical artistry skills. I just basically need to fill in this box. Uh, 
And there we go. That's all I need to do. Save it. And it's saved over what we originally created. And I'm just going to leave that there. And I'm going to head back into Blender. Okay, so here I am. I'm back in Blender. And what am I going to do with that image I've created? Well, first things first, I'm going to click A to select the whole model again. I'm going to apply the actual texture that I've created now. So what you do is you go into the actual materials and then make sure that you're in object mode. In the materials, you see your base color. I'm just going to drop the base color. I'm going to go for image texture and then open. And then in the import where you've actually saved your house, uh, house underscore DPNG, open it doesn't look like it's done anything until you come up here and you click on the viewport shading and there we go can we see we've actually created this we have actually got it all there now okay um this is it this is how simple this is going to be now i'm going to get that into city skylines by going up to file export and export as fbx again get it into your import now this is important this needs to have the same first part as that PNG file you created. So it should be house and then you just export it. Okay, now I'm going to go over into City Skylines to show you how to actually bring this asset in. Okay, so here we are now in Skylines and we go into our editors. And going to asset editor and create new now this will can depending on the speed of your computer take five minutes to load up unless you load it up regularly in which case it can go quite fast uh, i love the fact that the progress bar always seems to like bounce up and down like a yo-yo or something because it's just like it's loading and then it's oh yeah i've, I've not <laughs> so once this is kind of loaded up then you can actually start doing stuff Okay, so we actually start in the asset importer and it's select the asset type to create. Now, this is really important, so you've got to make sure that it's the right kind of asset. I'm going to start off with building and then you get every single template available to you, by the way. I'm going to make sure that I go into low density residential and I'm going to use the one by one as its base model. You can load existing props in, although it's not always essential, and click continue. Um, this is the default template, as you can see, you can have a good look around. I've seen some pretty beautiful models, actually, where you can even see through the glass. Um, as you can see here, I've actually got the house, if you can see, although the problem is it's on its side. So we just need to spin the x-axis around if it does that. And also, if it looks like it's underneath the ground as well, just click the bottom center pivot. Uh, this is where designing can be a bit of a problem if anything like sort of falls below the actual line there. Uh, other than that, you can just click continue now. And there we have it, you, your asset is now actually in the game. Uh, that, that's it. it. What happens is it combines the model that you've built, the 3D model, and it combines the texture overlay that you've created and it wraps it around it. And there we go, that's how simple it is. Well, say simple, but that's how it is. Uh, and obviously from this kind of logic, you could even go away, create better, more advanced stuff, get proper textures for brickwork. Or if you're really, really skilled, go and create your own brickwork so you really own that design then. Uh, you can play around with other things like the properties if you want to make the plot wider. And if you want to actually add things, you can just come here and add a swing set and just make it a bit more personable. And that should actually then be able to upload into the game. Uh, you can also share it, save it, you know, save asset, uh, call it whatever you want. Uh, in the past, I've created this weird little hippie house, but you can even decide what thumbnail to show for it. And then I can just call it um, Hippie House, because basically it looks like something a kid would draw. Um, in fact, it's not even that good. There we go, save it. And there we go, I've now created my very first asset. Uh, 
Okay, so hopefully you like that video and it's given you some good ideas now about how to actually get going on 3D modeling and actually how to learn how to create a beautiful 3D uh, asset, whatever you want to create. And ju just remember that this does not just apply to city skylines. You could start creating your own computer games using this kind of 3D modeling technique and also find out other games that also use this system. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing and obviously leave any comments, nice comments, about what else you'd like to see as far as like learning how to do these techniques.